Kodak Black in trouble for trying to remove a man from his family jewels. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so yeah. So apparently, Kodak Black has decided that he wanted to remove a man from his own testicles. Okay, so the story goes like this, real quick. I'm pretty sure you heard it a couple of other places, but um, listen to what I got to say. All right, so basically, Kodak Black, as we all know, he's currently incarcerated. He's in federal custody. He had gained, I think, uh, he got a five and a half year or five and I think like 10 months or something, something like that uh, with his previous charge that he was uh, charged for. And so now he's serving that time while he's also waiting for a couple of other things to happen. Now, before we get to the actual uh, nut-grabbing situation, we're also going to say Kodak Black also has two felony gun charges that he now has to be held responsible for. For everybody that don't know, Kodak Black now has two felony gun charges that he now has to be held responsible for. Real quick, Kodak Black had bought... Now, I'm not 100% sure where these, these gun charges come from, but... He bought three guns, okay? So, he bought three guns. There was a shootout that happened in the projects down, I think, in Broward or next to Broward. It was the projects that a shootout happened in. During the shootout, one of those guns fell. So, I don't know if they're charging him for the other two guns that he had on him because now he's an actual felon. I don't, I don't understand how that works. But he's being charged for two new gun charges or should i say he has two new gun charges that he's going to be hit with which both carry like a 30 year max so they both max out at like 30 so yeah he has he has all types of problems so kodak black has recently accused them of drugging his coffee now before we go any further we do know that Kodak Black is the guy that, when he is a free man, uses plenty of drugs. <laughs> I'm not laughing about this because I think his situation is funny. I'm laughing at this because you can't be using plenty of drugs on the outside and then when you go to jail, say that you were drugged. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen somebody that was, uh, let's say, an alcoholic, right? And then... They're an alcoholic, they drink all the time, and then you give them a drink, and it's a mixed drink, and they think it's water. Yeah, oh, nah, this is just, you know, fruit cocktail or whatever the hell. Kodak Black's always hot, basically. So, if you're telling me that they drugged your coffee, Kodak, we need more than you just saying that. Also, how would you know that they drugged your coffee? Anyway. So, what happened is, Kodak Black's coffee was drugged as per him. We don't know if the coffee was actually drugged. It's just shit he's saying. He gets into a fight, allegedly, allegedly, with another inmate. An officer comes to break the fight up. This is one way that I heard it. Also, I heard he was just flat out fighting the officer. But the first way that I heard the story is, is that he was in a fight with an inmate. The officers came to... Uh, break the fight up in the scuffle that's when he injured the guards penis or nutsack whatever you want to call it what ends up happening is uh it was reported before that he was kicked the guard or he had kicked the guard numerous times but what actually happened was kodak took his hands kodak took his kodak hands and grabbed that guard's uh, nether regions and squeezed so now we don't know if he squeezed and turned 
you know, like, you know, screwed or like he was trying to open a doorknob. But he grabbed that guard and squeezed. Now, they've been saying that he was holding on to that guard for an extremely long period of time. It said that he was, they, you know, they obviously was trying to get Kodak off. I'm assuming they were hitting him with stuff. And they, I'm assuming they was hitting him with, spraying him with mace. And they was doing everything that they can do to try to get Kodak off of this guy's nutsack. Um, the guard eventually got injuries that were so bad that he needed emergency surgery this guard is probably gonna be uh living the rest of his life at home collecting a check so yeah kodak created a situation where now he injured a and, and he was in federal custody so i'm gonna assume that this ceo is also a federal employee so he injured a federal employee which for everybody that don't know that's a real big crime to injure a federal employee. You know, if you attack like a, I don't know, in New York City up here, like if you try to attack like a city worker, like a bus driver or something, or a, um, I don't know, a mailman or a meter maid or something like that, like they hit you. Like you get hit. Like they dead in the face with your bags. They ain't playing. You ain't. You cannot attack a civil servant of any kind. So I'm not sure what kind of other charges is going to be put against Kodak because of this particular situation. His argument seems to be that he wasn't of right state, um, his right state of mind because they drugged his coffee. But I am 100% sure that that's not going to work in the court of law. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's say his coffee was actually drugged. Who who's gonna be able to check? How are they gonna be able to know? How how are they so that that's not gonna work? Um also the uh the the guard faced such injuries that his stomach ruptured. I don't know how much more clear I could try to make this sound. The guard's injuries was so bad that his stomach ruptured yeah that guy he's he's not gonna probably be able to have children any further um i'm not sure if he would be able to then sue kodak black that i have not no idea but there is a good chance that um and check this out just listen to me for a second you know, when you're a, a celebrity, I'm going to assume being in jail isn't fun. I'm going to assume that being in jail when you're a celebrity, some of these uh, some of these CEOs probably got words for you. They're probably laughing at you. They're probably making fun about how you just ruined your opportunity at a good life. You're a celebrity. You was making a good living. You decided to go do some BS and now you're locked up. You just got five and a half or how many ever months, what they gave him, like 46 months or 42 months, something like that. You just got that time. You're not going nowhere, no time soon. Now, I say all that to say this. You know, I'm always trying to be as fair as possible. But I wouldn't be surprised if this particular guard that was saying these that got this particular action from Kodak Black wasn't in there antagonizing a young man that obviously is not smart enough to keep himself out of jail after he started making millions. I don't know. Let me know what y'all guys think about this. I am not shouting free Kodak. I'm telling you right now. I am not shouting free Kodak. There has to be a line that we draw. There has to be a place where we go, where we say, look, that person, they wanted to go to jail. I'm not saying freedom because I'm not wasting that type of energy on them. Because if they were free, they're going to be trying their hardest to go back to jail. I remember Kodak said a while back when there was a situation that was going on with Takashi and he said he don't mind jail. He'll go back tomorrow. He said something like that. I, I don't I don't know exactly the words that he used. But Kodak Black, for whatever the reason is, doesn't understand that being in jail is not cool. 
At least he didn't when he was a free man Let me know what y'all guys think Leave it down in the comment section Also should they free Kodak Or keep him Like comment subscribe Join the notification gang Hashtag Bronx Bombers Let's get it I love y'all Take care of each other Hug the kids for me I haven't forgotten about you And that's all I got on this one I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.